basically told them to take their $120,000 federal subsidy and take a hike. They're giving up on that much money because they were losing even more money in the cafeteria and the people were very upset with it. They said it made the cafeteria look like it was in the middle of a perpetual fire drill. You can see that picture there, all of the empty seats. No one is eating on campus. And they were willing, they say, to lose $117,000 in federal money for Bozeman High, according to district officials. That decision is receiving widespread accolades. And they say, in spite of the fact that they got rid of $117,000, it is financially reinvigorating the slumping school food services. They said they thought that anywhere between $16,000 and $35,000 had been lost because of Michelle Obama's mandates. And now they are looking at extra food sales. Those would be things that were prohibited by Michelle. Uh, for September, jumped 48% from 37,000 last year to 54,000 this year. Now, just as they don't know everything about nutrition or Ebola, they don't know everything about vaccines. When we come back, more information about Gardasil and other vaccine issues with Rob Dew and a whistleblower from Big Pharma. Stay with us. We'll be right back. I'm running for president. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. I'm hitting the road to earn your vote, and I hope you'll join me on this journey. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there, and I know this for a fact. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for prison. Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. I want to go over this article. This is from the Denver Post. Fight brewing between feds and kombucha tea makers. Now, what does that have to do with vaccines? Well, for years, U.S. alcohol, tobacco, tax, and trade bureau have monitored kombucha makers nationwide for violations of federal alcohol rules. A product with more than 0.5% alcohol by volume must be labeled as such. And it's critical that customers have that information uh, for health, religious, or some other reasons such as childhood consumption. Well, let's look at the... Right here, guys, on the uh, the insert for Merck Vitamin K shot. Oh, it's got 0.9% alcohol in it, yet they want to inject that into little babies, and there's not a big deal about it, yet we've got a whole federal bureaucracy ready to go after people for making kombucha, something that's really good for you and something that you should be drinking if you're not uh, drinking it already. It's so, Brandy Vaughn, welcome to the uh, Alex Jones Show Overdrive Hour. And Thank you for having me here. Getting into the Vitamin K shot, I... I Talk to you about that. He said, oh, wait, I, I've got two insert packages that show what? What are what are we going to see here? 
Well, I thought it was uh, interesting that you brought that up because I was just sent uh, this week some photos from a nurse who did some, uh, took photos of the actual box that the vitamin K shot comes in as well as the uh, different vials. So there's there's two different makers. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I'm sure there's more than that, but these are the two popular ones that they were giving in her hospital. And um, this one says the active ingredient in it is polysorbate 80. Right. And that is linked to infertility, strongly linked, as well as to autoimmune issues and all sorts of things. And um, that's an additive they put in coloring as well. It and, is. And it's really bad for people. It's in a lot of other vaccines as well. It's not just the vitamin K shot, right. but... I have on tape my pediatrician telling me it's very safe. The ingredients are no big deal. It's got a little bit of alcohol in it for preservation and some castor oil and the vitamin K, and that's about it. It only has five ingredients in it, um, alcohol, corn starch. There's no aluminum. There's no mercury. It's it's really a, a very safe injection. I think it's got castor oil or some sort You're of right. castor oil. You're right. Castor oil is one. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's, it's all very, you know, basic ingredients that yeah. are very small, small, minute amount. As you can see there, that one's got polysorbate 80. Now, the right. other one is even worse. Yes, and like you mentioned, a lot of um, a lot of doctors are telling um, new mothers, mm-hmm. oh, it's just vitamin K and saline. Right. It's very, um, you know, it's very safe. There's nothing dangerous in it. And clearly, either they're not telling the truth or they're not being told the truth. So the second picture is actually the vial of the vitamin K mm-hmm. shot. And um, as you can read on the side, it says no more than 100 micrograms per liter of aluminum. It only has five ingredients in it, um, alcohol, corn starch, there's no aluminum, there's no mercury. It's, it's really a, a very safe injection. A, l- a little <laughs> aluminum for the newborn to help right. them think and process information better. Uh, to help maybe with breastfeeding or something mm. like that. Yes. And, and then on top of that, you've got the uh, the MMR that they like to shoot into them in the second day. That's and actually the Hep B vaccine. Uh, Hep B, and it I'm has sorry, yeah. uh, 250 micrograms of mm-hmm. aluminum. So babies, newborn babies right out of the, get- the gate are getting 350 micrograms of aluminum. And this is a toxin, a known neurotoxin that should not be in our bodies in any amount. Right. It's caused, it's linked to breast cancer. It's linked to Alzheimer's. It's linked to a lot of neurological issues as well as gut issues. Issues because the brain and the gut are linked mm-hmm. through the lymphatic system. And this just does not belong in our babies. There's no reason um, that we should be shooting our babies Unless up. Unless right you now. want to cause problems down the road, which right. is what I firmly believe is what the what the purpose of all these vaccines in this many amounts over and over again, especially in young babies, is causing. It's causing people to be lifelong patients of the pharmaceutical companies so they can help with ADHD, asthma. Hey, we got a pill for that. Right. We're ready to help you. Uh, You're really on the fight right now with this mandatory HPV vaccine. Tell us what's coming down the pipe with that. Yeah, actually, um, the HPV vaccine, Gardasil, Mm -hmm. which is made by by Merck, um, it's pretty much the driving force behind the mandatory vaccine laws that we're seeing. Merck, um, we call it in the industry, have to pay for Vioxx vaccine. And, you know, Vioxx, largest drug recall in in Mm -hmm. the world, um, happened before, and so now this Mark is the has recoup. to make it. Yeah, yeah okay. has to recoup some of those profits, and they they um, priced it at one hundred and thirty five dollars a dose. Got the FDA to approve three doses within six months. It has huge high high aluminum content, mm-hmm. like we were mentioning with mm-hmm. the vitamin K shot, and they got it approved for boys and girls, right. nine to twenty six. So they're looking at tens of billions of dollars with this. It's their new blockbuster. Um, and that is really what's driving a lot of these mandatory vaccine laws. And I don't know if you've seen the videos. There's videos, uh, one that was out of, uh, I think it was Colombia or Venezuela, and it was the room full of girls all convulsing at the same time, and they had just been given the shot. The guy's on video going, we don't know what's going on. They told us to do this. We think there's something up. Please help us. Please help us. These people are utterly just being devastated around the world. It's not just in the United States. This is worldwide that this stuff is a bioweapon, it seems like. Right. Japan has taken it um, off of their recommended Mm -hmm. schedule. The EU just um, in September launched an investigation into the HPV vaccine after a great uh, Danish documentary came out exposing how many serious reactions are being um, seen in populations of girls being given this vaccine. And there are lawsuits all around the country against Merck, against the vaccine maker for injuries and deaths um, related to Gardasil. Yeah. And that's one important point here in the U.S. Um, vaccines are, you know, completely protected, but have complete liability protection from the federal government. 
So those lawsuits that we're seeing around the world and the information that comes out in the discovery process of the judicial process, we can't do that here in the U.S. It's all hidden. It's all hidden. And there's no liability, which means that vaccine makers make far more profit off of vaccines than they do normal pharmaceutical drugs. And they don't pay for any of these payouts. It's all it all comes from the dose that you pay for. When you get the vaccine, two dollars of that goes into this fund, which is it's a huge slush fund, but they've paid out over three billion dollars already. So it's not safe and effective like they keep telling us. One thing the pediatrician said was it must be really scary being a parent now because there's so much information. Mm. And the whole time she was saying that, I was thinking she really means it's so hard and scary being a pediatrician because there's so much information that parents are arming themselves with. And they're standing up and saying no to that regimented schedule of just injecting aluminum into your body. You know what? There's a lot of information out there and it's hard. I think this is the hardest time to be a parent. <laughs> it really is. It's the hardest time to be a parent because there's so much information out there. And how do you filter through all that information to find out what's real, what's, you know, a real concern and what's not? Right. You know, I mean, and, and you, I know you want to do what's best for her. And I know you don't want to take any unnecessary risks. Go listen to Dr. Blaylock give a two-hour speech on what aluminum does when it goes into your brain. And all they do when they do these studies, and correct me if I'm wrong, they just test for antibodies. They just go, oh, you got antibodies. That means it works. And what's going on is these adjuvants like aluminum and mercury are stimulating the brain and creating antibodies. And they go, oh, well, there, there's your proof that it works. There's your proof that it's safe and effective. Is that right? Is that how they do that? Yes. And one thing that I think people aren't aware of is that in a natural environment, we would never come into contact with six to nine pathogens at one time. So when we're injecting this with the adjuvants, which are heavy Mm -hmm. metals, which are very toxic and hard to detox from, as well as additives like formaldehyde and the monkey and the animal um, and human cells, DNA, polysorbate 80, MSG, which we're supposed to avoid mm-hmm. in Chinese food, right? Right. And mercury, which we're supposed to avoid in fish. But it's okay but to inject it's in okay your veins. To inject into right. the to the bloodstream where it goes straight to the vital organs. Right. Um, what we're seeing when you inject so many vaccine doses and so many pathogens with all of these adjuvants, the body has no idea what's going on. We're overwhelming the immune system. And so this is where we're seeing all of these autoimmune issues, the food allergies, mm-hmm. asthma, eczema, psoriasis, lupus. Um, all of these types of things because the body just starts fighting everything. It starts attacking it's, itself. Yeah, it, it attacks, attacks itself. itself. And it attacks things like peanut oil, peanut mm-hmm. allergies, or because peanut oil is it's used off as the a stabilizer. Charts. There's like five kids in my neighborhood who can't have peanut butter, and if right. my kids eat peanut butter sandwiches, they have to go outside. I'm not going to sit here and take it anymore. Well, that's it for our news tonight. We're here every weeknight, Monday through Friday. You can follow us on YouTube as a free subscription. You can also help our organization help to pay for this by becoming a paid subscriber at Prison Planet TV. You can also help us to spread the news, get us on a local TV or radio affiliate. The instructions on how to do that are at Infowars.com forward slash affiliates. They'll tell you how to contact your television or radio station to get the nightly news to a broader audience. Again, that's our free-to-air satellite broadcasting system that we've just put in place. Well, join us again tomorrow night. We'll be back at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern for the nightly news. And all you ISIS people threatening us, hey, we're not a French newspaper, okay? We got people that have taken your asses out in this building right now. We're armed to the teeth, and we're not scared. You got that, you sons of bitches? This is Texas. You want to threaten me, you can go straight to hell. You understand that? Never water yourself down just because someone can't handle you at 100 proof. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it, InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.